It's back. It's fighting this guy. Let's see, did we have... I, I think we got the death blow stuff. If I recall correctly, yes. Right, let's move that. See, do we have any of those items that prevent status reduction? We do not. So we throw we throw whatever we want on the rest of the people. We get this first try if we don't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Also, the very first turn is this one might be worth RNG time. heavy, so let's go. Drop to an amazing start. Yet. Sure. Got the skin, everything. One down. I'm ready. In fact, why don't I just kill myself? Sc just scan them and hit the retry button. It's my turn. Yeah. Right, let's let's figure out how to waste Engaging. our turns. There we go. Sorry, everyone. I'm ready. Uh, forgive me. me. Uh, uh, strength depleted. I'm sorry. I'll leave it to me. Now. Very well. Go it. What? Hey, chess master, got here early. How could this be? There we go. Now we got the scans, so we don't have to waste battle scopes. This one might be. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Forgive me. Very nice. Sense of disservice in the force. I'm sorry. That's a joke. It no, it's my get huh? Leave it to me. No, it's not. It's wrong. This. What the fuck is this great? Bad. All right. The moment we get a good, a good set. That's all we need. Sorry, everyone. I'll save you so much. Good first turn. Uh, she's got Chrono Burst. Yeah, I can make this work. I'll support Thank you so much. Here I go. There. <laughs> Thanks. I'm ready. Listen. Here I go. How's your evening going? Whoops. Yeah. He's on the wrong person. I'm like an idiot. It happens. Engaging. There. Yeah. Thanks. Sure. All for one. Not on my watch. I'll fight. I'll support Thank you so much. I'll fight. That you have attack. Here I go. A little bit dull right now, but earlier today was nuts. Is it dull right now because you're actually uh, you're actually here for once rather than showing up around? Well, actually, no, never mind. This isn't the normal time you show up. It's like ten. <laughs> yeah, I, I took a nap when I got home. I wasn't feeling good. I still don't feel very good, but uh, better than I did when I got home. Oh, I'm 
deflect him, so let's heal everybody. Oh, wait. They all have some defense up thing. Let's get rid of that. Oh, that took care of the ads. Sweet. Engaging. Okay. Now all we have to do is survive until we can get our... Whatchamacallit up? Millennium Stang. Oh boy, here we go. Well, we got the guard, and then he gets to go again. Stealing that. He survive it. Oh wait, they have Arch Reflect on still. Yeah. My turn. Well then. Or Crescent Mirror. Steal your Thank you. Here I go. Oh neat. Yeah, I don't think she's too useful at the moment. Angry couple is causing a disturbance outside your place. Huh. Here I go. That guard. What are you vulnerable to? Feel mute, breeze, petrify. You can petrify this guy with a twenty percent chance. That's the Which dream right there. Leave it to me. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. Crimson Flash. Huh. Wait. Down goes you say. I just don't have the RNG to get the uh, the brakes. Engaging. Or unbalances. have good RNG getting the unbalances that we needed. I'm up. Huh. I might be able to make this work a little bit. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you. I'm up. Probably won't last very long. Should use I'm the up. other one. That was the wrong move. Reduction was the right move, but I gotcha. didn't do it properly. Engaging. Okay. I shall go. Yes. You have my thanks. My turn. Switching out. Put my best foot forward. Hope. You have uh, my thanks. Thank you. Yeah. 
ready, everyone. All right, reset. That 50% of eight is making it very hard to die. There we go. I'm switching in. I shall go. We just need to get into a scenario. Strength depleted. I'm sorry. A scenario where we're pretty much in the same spot as uh that one time we got into like 25% HP. So we can start spamming millions things. Sorry, everyone. Here I go. White decoration, that's what it's called. Listen. Probably Here just like just start uh farming up to get it. It's probably the idea that we should go with. Get the five BP again and then white decoration. I shall go. Okay. This will be fun. Yeah, it seems to be what we're what we should do. For mine. Let's go. I'm like a person who's cur I'm like I'm like a person who's cursed to relive a particularly over and over again until I learn a lesson. Yeah, it's like Groundhog Day. Literally, that that's the exact description of Groundhog Day. My it's my turn. Roar. Yeah, we can't get death float anymore, which is good. Useless. Damn it. This cavalry I think has a 20% chance to KO automatically. <laughs> Something like that. It's I'll not say good. Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean he's getting his fast speed right now. Oh, hey Here look, we, we can immediately reactivate uh, white decoration. Sweet. You get one turn of it. Here I go. <laughs> oh god. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. This'll be fun. Oh goddess. <laughs> now, here's this. That's it. Yeah. Got him. It's my turn. Now let's use spear unification. Let's go. Punch him in the face. Good miss. I shall go. This guarantees unbalances, so I'm going to use that. Let's go. We don't have vanish reduction. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> It's not good. Engaging. Oh, that BP five turns just laughing at me. Well, we can steal it, so. Uh, attack! Uh, I'm up. Let's do this. Uh. I'm up. Flexion. Once again, I. Oh wait, you can't. I forgot you can't stack. Uh, you can't stack this easily. Let me heal you. <laughs> Thanks. Not on my watch. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> I'm up. Roar. Right. 
That's it's physical. Yes, lose your CP. That is literally infinite. I'm in trouble. Sure. He had EP right now, that'd be so good. I'm just going to immediately cancel that. <laughs> I'll have Reem use that again. Why not? Alright. Reactivate white decoration. Oh, would you look at that? It's another turn for Rita Escraft on. Let's see, I think I'll use R2 to heal though. I'm also got to steal at 50% HP turn. Hey, Reen. <laughs> I'm gonna steal the Banish turn as well. Brace yourself. A trifling matter. It works. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I'm pretty sure he had Vanish Resistance, but I guess he got lucky. <laughs> nice. I'll take it. Mission accomplished. Good work, everyone. Phew, I'm glad things worked out. Yeah, talk about one tough cookie. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Boss got banished. <laughs> Vanishes an automatic win condition, because they can't take any actions. They're removed from the field for a few turns. And it's enough to create a win condition. Feels like the atmosphere around here is calming down. Not that you mention it, indeed. And that apparition was a, was a source of the problems down here. Don't worry, it'll show up in a few show up again in a few minutes. And then we'll have to kill it again. That seems like a safe conclusion. I imagine the rest of the monsters will leave as time goes on. Bada boom, problem solved. You know, I may have underestimated your skills, Elise. You've gotten so strong. Stronger than I ever could have imagined. As your big brother, I'll always be fussing over you at least a little. But now I know I can absolutely trust you to have my back. You mean it? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you say that. <laughs> Pretty candid of you there, Schwarzer. That just goes to show how much Elise's resolve got through to him. <laughs> yep. Now then, we've cleared up the cause of that creepy voice. Let's head back up and let Dorothy know what happened here.
never expected something like that to appear down there. Thank you so much, Reen. Don't mention it. We're glad we could help. I still wonder what could have caused a spiritual being like that to appear. That's a good question. I know strange monsters and devils appeared across the Empire during the last two wars, but why now of all times? And there's not just this incident. A magic knight appeared in Ymir recently as well. We don't know what caused it. I'm convinced that something is happening just below Erebonia's surface again, at least. Great. Can't just country take a vacation from all the crazy supernatural crap for once? The Empire does have a history with this kind of thing. Bookies. It was a lot like those otherworldly devils that appeared during the Great Twilight. I recall the ones we fought that last day, all attempting to absorb large amounts of power. In fact, their appearance may have had something to do with the Holy Beasts of Earth. What's happening now is likely caused by something much different, but it's hard to ignore how similar the outcomes are. In any case, we don't have enough information to draw a conclusion as things stand. We should continue focusing on the investigation in front of us like we have been. I agree. We're not going to find a solution by rushing through the problem. You can say that again. Ooh, would you take this? Consider a token of gratitude. You won't be needing to compensate the guild thanks to your help, after all. Hopefully it will prove useful during your investigation. 5,000 Mira. Thanks, Dorothy. We appreciate it. And before you go, could I interest you in, your, you in a few copies of the new book I mentioned earlier? Look at those books in the background that have their 3D models fused together, creating that little uh, ripply effect from the overlapping textures. The third volume of the romance series I've poured my blood, sweat, and tears into. Love Song and the Autumn Rain. But temptations await the pair of young men after overcoming such trials. I go on, but saying any more would be spoilers. Well, uh, we wouldn't want that to happen, now would we? Besides, I'd rather support you by purchasing it for my for myself at a bookstore. You would make a good point. In any case, I'll be looking forward to hearing your thoughts when you buy it. Buy it for yourself and give it a read. Especially you, Ash. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I expect Ash's spiciest essay to date. RP increased by five. Hell yeah. Boys Love Prevails. Dorothy requests fellow literature club member Ash's feedback on the third volume of her romance series, to which she replies, Oh, hell no. Yeah. That's... That's most dudes' responses. <laughs> All this is giving me a wonderful ideas for our next... No, uh, no, bad Dorothy. This isn't the time to be thinking about that. Thank you all for everything. With that taken care of, our patrons should be able to enjoy the museum again in peace. In peace. Alright. I'm sure you're relieved as well, right? Dorothy filled me in on what's happening. I wish you all luck. I was worried you wouldn't be able to, to do anything if it really was a ghost, but that's not the case, thankfully. We still have more questions than answers when it comes to the catacombs, so I'll keep a close eye on the place from now on. Yeah, Ash is part of the new new literary club. Literature club. Same difference. Also, we have a new book. This one's only for, uh... Farine. International. Crossbell retaken by former Governor General. On March 15th in the afternoon, the signing ceremony marking Crossbell's official transition back to an autonomous state was disrupted by a group of armed soldiers. Within a matter of hours, the attackers claimed the entire territory, shocking the public across the continent. Ringleader former Governor General Rufus Alberea. Based on footage taken at the scene, the insurrection was led by Crossbell's former Governor General Rufus Alborea. Previously thought to be in prison, the soldiers themselves, clad in black, are believed to be remnants of the Imperial Defense Force who illegally occupied Crossbell City after the end of the Great War. Along with the Governor General, they previously had, been, also, had also been confined in Arx Fort. New information obtained by the Imperial Chronicle has relieved that has revealed that late at night on March 14th, the fort was besieged by unknown forces allowing Rufus Alborea and the Imperial Defense Force members to escape together. The fact that Crossbow was subsequently attacked and captured in the span of just half a day suggests that the armed takeover was both premeditated and highly organized. Declaration of the United Nation. Outside communications to Crossbow were cut off in the aftermath of the assault. Prior to the blackout, former Governor General Rufus Alborea declared himself to be the new head of Crossbow, its supreme leader, announcing the establishment of the United Nation of Crossbow. As of press time, 
time, the motive behind the uprising and its connection to the deceased Chancellor Osborne remain uncertain. The Erebonian government denies involvement. Upon hearing news of the incident, Karl Regnitz, the provisional head of the Erebonian government, hurried to make a statement on the matter. Though he acknowledged that security at Oryx Fort had proven to be insufficient, he firmly declared that the Imperial government had no involvement in Rufus Alvarez's initiative and, and that the occupation was both unjust and illegal. With the memory of the Great War still weighing heavily in the minds of the international community, well-informed sources contend that the Erebonian government is not in a position to directly intervene and that navigating the politics of the situation will prove difficult for the country's leadership. Society, economic activity across Erebonia is stabilizing. The chaos of post-war events combined with significant reparations paid to the Republic of Calvert has seen economic activity across all parts of the Empire decline. Nevertheless, some suggest regions have begun to show signs of recovery thanks to the combined efforts of the central government and four great houses, who are working closely to st stimulate trade and the flow of goods throughout the nation. One economist then asked to comment for the Imperial Chronicle and remarked, At this stage, the country is pivoting away from a wartime economy. It will take some time before it's achieved a complete recovery. Military affairs. affairs. Two army divisions dissolved. In accordance with the ceasefire signed by the Empire, the Imperial Army will enter phase, phase 3 of its draw, drawdown. As part of those efforts, newly formed 21st and 24th Divisions will be disbanded, their members integrated into other divisions. So, doing so will reduce Erebonia's military strength to a degree below where it was enacting the National Mobilization Law. Though members of the manufacturing sector are pleased about its implications in mitigating its ongoing labor shortage, some members of the armed forces have voiced their disapproval. Furthermore, General Van Dyke officially announced yesterday his intention to resume his, re his retirement once the drawdown and chain of command restructuring are complete. International Cavardian presidential approval ratings remain high. The popularity of new Cavardian president Roy Gramhart appears to have risen even higher after after passing the massive war operations received from the em received from the Empire early early in his term on citizens. The president, who took office at the beginning of the year and already enjoyed great support from the populace for taking a firm stance toward the Empire prior to his inauguration, appears to have already beaten the approval record maintained by his predecessor Samuel Rocksmith. Some political analysts remain skeptical of his long-term prospects, however, believing such an impromptu stimulus to be a short-sighted decision that will do little to maintain the long-term stability of his administration. Culture. Great gourmet tourism possibly on the rise again. After being recently featured again in popular magazines and other publications, the concept of gourmet tourism, where travelers venture across multiple regional spots renowned for their cuisine, has regained new renewed attention. In particular, younger travelers are tur turning out more than ever to eat their way through Sumeria one place at a time. The impetuous for this development lies in local tourism industry efforts to attract new visitors, which diminished as a result of the war. This led individual outlets to develop new menus in response, notably with a focus on limited time offerings. Readers who are interested in tasting them are therefore advised to do so sooner rather than later, lest such delicacies vanish for good. Way to end it off strong, Imperial Chronicle. But leave it on a happy note. Either way, we should, uh... We have no place to... Oh, we could just go back down here to recover our EP and then teleport back up. Do that real quick. Progress locked in. Hey, it's Vivian Lind. Well, 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 if it isn't class seven. I had no idea you were in the capital. Hey, uh, Misty Guys. You weren't expecting to run into the two of you here, either. Oh, uh, is this a bad time? Everyone here looks really busy. Ah, oh, don't worry about that. I was just in the mood for a break, anyway. Besides, there's no better way to get hot scoops than talking to you, Reen. Though I'm guessing your sister would have plenty of goss to share, too. Being the student council president and all. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh, and I'm definitely asking... Asking to interview you at some point, Ash, so keep an eye out for that. I think we all know what that will be about. Can't we just drop that? Yeah, I think that one's gonna stick with you. Yeah, mur attempted murder is kind of important, especially to a, uh, to the, uh, the Emperor, right? I think that's what his title is, it was Emperor, right? 
Either way, I think we made you stand for long enough. There's some chairs for meetings down the... Here's for meetings and the like over there. Why don't we go sit down? Why is this damn honey trap not working? Why well, just flew right into my eyebrow. If you don't mind me asking, what brings you here anyway, Lind? I thought you were still doing your residency at St. Ursula. I am, technically. After I finished helping out the branch campus, I started another year of studying Crossbow. But while I was here in Heimdall for a training session, Crosswell got occupied, so here I am. That would explain it. So obviously she decided to come spend some time with her favorite sister in the world. She's helping us with clerical work as a part-timer right now. <laughs> well, ain't your company a bunch of bleeding hearts. Well, even if they said no, I was just gonna make her pretend to be me. Either way, I win. That sounds very illegal. I wouldn't put it past her for a second, though. Still, I don't think anyone saw this coming. The former Governor General suddenly declaring himself Supreme Leader of Crossbow? That's a shocker. The craziness you saw when you came, he came in here is everyone trying to get a special issue ready about it all. Still, it's somewhat strange how little the general population has been reacting to the news. Everyone seems shockingly calm. I've been getting that impression during my time in the capital, too. I imagine it's due in part to the fact no one's able to communicate with anyone over in Crossbow. Maybe that lack of immediacy is keeping the reality of the situation from sinking in. Has the Chronicle conducted any opinion polls on the issue? We sure have. And I gotta say I was surprised by what people thought the Empire should do in light of all this. Most people responded we should try to avoid any major conflicts. That is somewhat surprising. Given the recent history of Erebonia, I would have assumed people would respond more belligerently. Maybe people are just are finally sick of war. That would be my take as well. The Battle of Jormungan may have only lasted one entire day, but the economic toll of our reparations and the mental toll on those who are conscripted cannot be ignored. It's taken half a year for us to get to the point where life's finding star finally starting to return back to normal, too. Indeed, people are still focused on securing their own livelihoods. Of course, that's just your average Erebonian's take on the issue, not the government's stance. But neither the government nor His Majesty have cleared things up on that front yet. I tried asking the military for a statement a few times, but no dice. Now, that I am not surprised by. Still, thanks for the information. I feel like I have a better grasp on the situation now. You're very welcome. Now then, Reen Hot Scoop Schwarzer, why don't you tell me about how your little investigation is going? And don't play dumb, I know all about it. You do? Did they ask you to assist with the search, Vivi? And <laughs> not quite. See, I first caught it wind of it from a fellow reporter a little while back. It was just a rumor at that point, but I got I got right to her trying to corroborate it. I hit up every source I had, from other reporters to fellow Thor's alumni like Edo, Fee, and Monk. Eventually Major Claire realized I was hot on the story. And let's be real, at that point she didn't really have any options other than reaching out to me herself, so that's how I know. Well, that's really something. From anyone else, that story would surprise me, but from you, Vivi? I suppose the last thing anyone wants is an uninformed hearsay-based hearsay -based version of that story getting out. Yeah, the true version's bad enough. The information was shared with me, too, because I'm helping Vivi out. Unfortunately, I don't think we know any more than you do yet. Yeah, but if we catch word of anything, you'll be the first one to know. So give us a call if you catch word of anything yourselves. Alright, we will do. Got Vivian Lind added to the book. The Lind, St. Ursula Medical College. The Shire twin and the Thor's graduate, she started a medical internship at St. Ursula after a brief nursing position at the branch campus. And Vivi, Imperial Chronicle. The Slyer twin and the Thor's graduate, her passion for always being in the know inspired her to become a journalist for the Imperial Chronicle. It feels reassuring to see that Lind's here, even if it's just by sheer chance. I'm worried about Rex, though. I haven't heard from him ever since he left to take photos of the ceremony and the EDF appeared. Knowing him, I'm sure he's running around snapping pictures like his life depends on it, so he's probably fine, but still.
Times like this, I'm reminded just how handy it was to ha we had access to the round of seven. It sure made gathering information a little easier and we could get in touch with remote in, in touch remotely no matter where we all were. I can only wonder how Gaius is doing now that he's back in Nord. He's back in Nord. Interesting. I'm not sure they'd love it if we went trespassing through here. Why not? That sister of Vivi's has really got a good head on her shoulders. Appearances aside, she couldn't be any less like Vivi as she tried. I wish we could take her on full time, to be honest. Right now we're just up to our eyes in work because of what's happening in Crossbell. I just hope we don't see a repeat of two years ago. Give us a shout if you hear anything, alright? It's hard not to worry about Rex over in Crossbell. Best thing we can do for him now is find out what's up over here. He seems to be chasing up another story on the side, but I really don't have time to press her on it. If you learn anything about the Crossbell situation, let us know, alright? Anybody have more interesting information? It sounds like the government is going to issue another statement on Crossbell. I wonder if one's going to include a reaction from His Majesty. Maybe not, given how prickly a situation this is. Ow. I can try, but I wouldn't expect much. The whole story is just so out of left field. The United Nations story is going to be on the front page of the next issue. Do you have any sources who might have info on the former Governor General? Possibly. Hmm. I can't read any of that text. Damn it, I can't get in touch with anyone at Crossbell at all. What am I gonna do? I need to gather more info, and I need to know what the newest president of Calvert is going to say in his statement, too. Oh, have you finished speaking with Vivian and Linda already? Things are a little chaotic here right now, but you're welcome to make yourselves at home. Let's get out of here. Eventually, the story will let us proceed. Probably have to leave the district and then something will happen. Nope. That is incorrect. Did I miss somebody? I, did I miss a district? And just like that, we got the band back together. <laughs> I guess so. So, any luck gathering info? Yes, now would be a good time to compare what we found. In that case, how about we meet at the cafe inside the department store? Great idea. Let's head there now. Cheeky bastards. <laughs> I just teleported away from there. Am I imagining things? Um, is something the matter? No, it's nothing. It's a little early, but heck, I'm down for lunch. We get tea time, how about we take meal time? William, I think you've eaten enough. More than enough. A call? Representative Regnitz? Greetings, Rain. My apologies for contacting you out of the blue like this. I was wondering if by chance you might have met with the rest of Class 7 by now. We did get together with the investigation group in the capital not too long ago, in fact. I take it you have some idea of what's going on with us? More or less. But not like back when the Intelligence Bureau was under direct control of the government. Yeah, it's wild that we have a direct line to the head of the government, huh? About that, there's a matter of utmost importance I must discuss with you all. Assuming you all haven't eaten yet, I'd love to discuss it over lunch. Great timing. Let's all grab a bite together. It'll be our pleasure. Much appreciated. We'll be waiting at Durham at the Durham Hotel in the Garnier District. Oh, and please don't feel rushed. I have plenty of time. Thank you as always. Representative Regnitz wants to discuss something with us directly. Perhaps he's learned something pertaining to the incident. Either way, we can count on something juicy. They're him, all right. That's a fancy hotel in the Garnier District. Lunch at hotel, huh? Consider me pumped. How about you, Yusus? 
Please, I'm begging you, don't forget your table manners. Seems we still have a bit of free time. Then you best to tie up any loose threads now while we have the chance. Right, this could be a golden opportunity to investigate the Garnier district. Once we're all set, let's head to the hotel. They're just let they're they're very clearly letting us know. Also, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's a lot of Mira. Poor as shit. anyone following me now. So why did I sense it before? Did something happen, Rain? People are missing. The jewelry they got inside these babies is always so pretty. Pretty enough to buy for me. Right, you sis? Ask me again in a decade. <laughs> you got it, sugar daddy. I'm gonna hold you to it. Just don't go broke so you can splurge on me. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> the way they interact is so sweet. Feels more like bickering siblings. <laughs> Good day, and pardon me, but that uniform tells me you're from Thor's. Or at least a, uh... Nah, I lost what I was trying to say. The relationship is so damn questionable. Yeah, it is. That's right, is there something you need from us? Not at all. It's just that they share something of a connection to the Academy. A few years ago, Phantom Thief B stole the Crimson Tiara, a national treasure, and Thorsoon's actually got it back. Quite some time has passed since then, but looking at you all reminded me. Wait, wasn't that during our field studies? Yeah, brings back some wild memories. I think that was our very first encounter with Phantom Thief B. My word, you're those very students? I was on a different field study, so I'm afraid I wasn't present. But from what I heard at the time, it was rather difficult for you to solve... You all... For all of you to solve these riddles. Guys, act, act cool now, but even you were wet behind the ears back then, huh? <laughs> yeah, we've come a long way. What an incredible coincidence this is. I really can't thank you all enough for what you did back then. Please, if I can ever help you in here, let me know. We've all grown up so handsomely that I didn't even recognize you. I'm terribly moved. We've, all, we've long strengthened our security, so we haven't had another incident with the Crimson TR ever since then. And it's all thanks to you. Well, it's kind of all thanks to Phantom Thief B not wanting to, uh, steal the TR again. He 100% can break in here. Wouldn't even break a sweat. I haven't heard much about Phantom Thief B these days. Makes you wonder what they're up to. I'm not a fan, to be clear. They stole from here. They're my mortal enemy now. Every single day, I swear to myself that I'll never let them steal another thing from under my nose again. Truth be told, sales of jewels have taken a hit since the war. I'm sure all high-end boutiques are in the same position right now. Never paid that much attention to the economy, but, but until it started working against me, but I'm feeling it's iron now. That's the same exact dialogue as the other route. When, when the class had to each take half of Heimdall. Yeah. Flip that one up. Tiara. Come back. Huh. 5% evasion. And death blow prevention. Neat. Our new princess happened to wear none other than this very tiara on display. The details are under wraps, so I can spare a little nugget or two. See, the tiara has been passed down in the royal family and was stolen. And was stolen was returned. It's the same exact dialogue. There are a few new NPCs around, though. There's the opera house. Remember when we used to only know Vita as a singer here, Elliot? Her world felt so far away, but now we've been on the same stage. They actually invited me to come back, too, so I'll save you guys a seat. Hmm. Nice, looking forward to it. What's up, you two? Oh, you guys are Emma's friends, right? 
they are. Fancy seeing you here, Class 7. It's been a while since we talked, hasn't it? Hello, and I'm sorry, I'm not sure we've met. These two live in Erin Village, where Emma's from. Oh, I see. So they're just like the others we met, then. Congratulations, then, Nina. You're now one step closer to being a full-time wandering witch like you wanted. Aw, uh, thank you, Altina. I'm so excited. It's amazing how many people there are out here, and how lively they all are. The world is just so bright and shining. At least that's how it usually is. But sometimes it feels like they're, they get really gloomy, too. I wonder why. And there's the million mirror question. Yeah, if I had to put it into words, I could sense multiple sources of mana that feel somehow murky. It's not as strong as it was during the great the, during the twilight, though, so that makes it hard to pin down their source. Yeah, that's exactly how it feels. You're so smart, Majory. Interesting. But at the very least, we, there's clearly something going on, even though we can't say what it is yet. Thanks for letting us in on what you know. We'll be sure to keep a close lookout for anything that's suspicious. Okay, good luck, guys. Vita Clotilde used to sing at this opera house, didn't she? I had no idea this building was such a big deal. <laughs> I'll have to get, get her autograph when she comes back. If she comes back. I just remembered that a good friend of mine gave me S-section seats to the opera house. I think I'll take Nina to see a show with, with me while you Clays and Albrio aren't looking. And you get a fun girls' night out. Break in. I see the Heimdall Opera House. From what I hear, Vita Clotilde remains popular as ever, even while on the hiatus. That woman's so much larger than life, it's easy to forget that's still her public claim to fame in the eyes of most. Well, you can visit later. Got other stuff that needs doing. Yeah. I came here today to study up in this area before I start any formal tours around here. But I wonder what's been up with the Opera House lately. Last I heard the Azure Diva's still MIA, but she's only... Yeah, it's the same dialogue. Up. Welcome, how about a nice quick to top up and top a full day of touring the capital, huh? This place is full of pricey establishments. If you need a bite to eat, if you, if you need a bite on the cheap, you can't beat my crepes. They're mine are packed with fresh fruits wrapped in springy dough and topped with sweet cream. You'll find better in the city, trust me. Strawberry crepe. I'll take your entire stock. Garnier District traces its roots back to the Middle Ages, the period when this country went to the War of the Lions. Funny, after all this time, Erebonia has kept up with, ra with raging one war after another. Just once, I'd like to be able to live in peace, but Rufus Alvarea has been making such a ruckus that it looks like that's still a dream. That might be the same as, as before. Whatever. And then there's tourists. That is the same dialogue. Okay. About to enter a point of no return when everything starts hitting the fan. So I'll be back in a second, just so I don't have to take a break in between it. That's what I get for drinking like 30 ounces of water right before the stream. I'm scheduled to have lunch with representative remnants of this hotel. There's still some time to spare, but I wonder if we should head in early. Entering the hotel will cause the main story to advance. Heimdall will become inaccessible, as will any sub-events yet to be seen. I mean, I'm pretty sure we covered everything. Enter Durhemin. Thank you for coming. A 
representative Regnitz. Not at all. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, hey, Alvin. I'm so happy I get to see your faces again. Your Highness. What brings you here, Your Highness? <sighs> I should very much be asking you the same thing. All this. And you're being forced to place yourself in harm's way for my brother. I'm... I'm so sorry for not consulting you first. Yes, as you ought to be. I'm your best friend. I could have thanked you much sooner, Elise, had you not kept this a secret from me. Then you won't stop me? Stop you? Heaven forbid. As soon as Representative Regnitz informed me of the details, I chose to accompany him of my own volition. I cannot bear to ignore a matter that involves my family. So please, let me do my part. Let me be part of your team. I'd like that very much. You've Art always Artie been member? a part of the team, Your Highness. Well, this has come to a fine resolution, but it won't do to begin discussions on an empty stomach. Why don't we have some lunch first? You won't hear any objections from me. I can definitely use a bite. So how how are how's everything gonna break down? Ah, that really hit the spot. I can hardly believe you finished it all. Your stick really is a void. I'd like to see who can eat more between you and Maya. I can't blame you though. The quality of a first class hotel's food is not to be underestimated. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get to come come to a place like this on my food tour. You must have really, really liked it too, Tilly. You ate a ton. Well, I'm a growing girl just as much as you. <laughs> well, I'm glad you both enjoyed it. Shall we get down to business then? First, I wanted to discuss the disappearance of the prince and the new princess. With what we have now, we believe it to be the work of a terrorist who goes by sea. Also, I thought about it. I'm pretty sure he's still using court fencing, so my next my next theory is that it's probably Cedric. It would also fit the whole the uh, sea motif with how Crow called himself sea. I wish we, we could say more about them, but I'm afraid we know very little. I guess that they're the leader of a so-called Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. They also look slightly different from the sea we dealt with in the past. Speaking of which, I'd like your take on that matter, Reen. Do you believe the new sea and the original sea are one and the same? I'll admit that I haven't been able to get in touch with Crow to confirm for sure. But I'm convinced that no, they're not the same person. I was thinking the same. This new one has mimicked the original style in their statement, but I think Crow has left those days behind for good. It's a relief to hear you feel that way. Seems like a safe bet, yeah. As to the contents of their statement, they referred directly to His Highness. Our first target was the foolish prince and his wings now bound to inaction. That does make it quite clear they were responsible for the abduction. I would assume wings refers to the courageous. Fast as the Empire is, how they're able to keep a ship of that size hidden from sight is quite the mystery in itself. Yeah, it might have stealth capabilities, but that can only go so far on its own. It's impressive they managed to keep its location from the Intelligence Division, even if it isn't at its former size. Me and Tilly are still in it, though. <clears throat> so have you heard any new statements from C? I'm afraid not. That's the only one. We've been trying to investigate this matter as best we can, but our foe is quite cunning. They won't let themselves be caught so easily. Only. Given the nature of this crime, we'll need to be exceptionally covert during our investigation. But naturally, the government cannot and will not leave this case unsolved. You will have our full back backing however you choose to go about this. If you're in need of the military police's assistance, you need only to ask. Thank you, Your Excellency. Next, I'd like to discuss my primary reason for summoning you here. That would be the information you you said you wanted to share when you called? That it would. This information was given to me by General Van Dyke. But Princess Alfin and Elise have also verified it with their own experiences. Really? Does this relate to the thing you were concerned about when we met up with Elliot? Yes, it does. Allow me to explain. The students of St. Astraea come from many different backgrounds. 
You have many a family in the military, including officers and generals. That in itself isn't a problem. What is, is that many of these military family members have been reportedly acting strangely of late. In what way? I remember hearing rumors about that when I was at the school, too. Most of them are seemingly reformists and young officers who idolize the late Chancellor. It's as if they refuse to settle back into normality after the war's end. They're still addressing others with deep aggression and are clearly very unhappy with the current state of the Empire. But the thing that concerns us most of all is the reaction to Crossbell's reoccupation. They aren't at all angry at the idea of a united nation. It's the opposite, in fact. They're in full support of it. That is not good. That's an understatement. What utter insanity. The success of the United Nation would also mean the end of Erebonia. Precisely. I am a reformist, but supporting such an extreme concept is nothing short of baffling to me. According to General Van Dyke, some of them have been showing worrying signs and plotting something in light of this. Exactly what is something what that something is in detail he is yet to confirm. That kind of ties me ties up with what me, you, Cicinelli have found out too. Yeah. Oh, could you tell me what you discovered? The group shared their findings with the representative regnants. Soldiers holding covert meetings in the city and large amounts of supplies disappearing. It wouldn't surprise me if members of the army were defecting to the Evan Defense Force. I think we need to look into potential co points of contact between them. Rita, I think we got a clear picture of what's been going on here after sharing, sharing all we know. If we put the pieces we currently have together, the muck and mire that get the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City, the C statement refers to defecting members of the army. That makes sense. The statement did mention it would see those who support the, uh, the United Nation pay for their crimes. Guess it's all fallen into place then. If there really are rebels in the army and punishing them is C's goal, then who we find first doesn't really matter because the other will be there. How convenient for us. Yeah, sure is. I'm glad I was able to help put you on the right track. Class 7 always comes through in the end. Ellipses. Your Highness? Pardon me, you don't have to worry. I'm hardly the one for whom life is difficult right now. Ellipses. I'm sure if I were to ask, ask you to rest, you wouldn't listen. But please, at least be a little gentler to, to yourself, Your Highness. The great mental burden, burden of not knowing whether family is safe and well is not to be underestimated. Them being missing also means you have to carry on with the work that would normally be given to them. You are going through too much for one to handle right now. If you are feeling it all unwell, we would like you to consider taking some time off. I couldn't possibly. I'm in full agreement. Taking care of yourself is as much a part of your duties as working. While you do that, we'll see to it these crimes are solved. You have our word. I'll do what I can in your stead. And I will see that Prince Oliver and Lady Sherazar are brought home as soon as possible. You can put your trust in us. I... I suppose you're right. Perhaps resting is as much a part of my duties as well. My heart is breaking for you, your highness. No one should have to handle a burden like this alone. Green? You're staring. Oh, um, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. <laughs> it wasn't my intention to scold you either. I'm well aware that you're being considerate of my feelings, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm glad. And you won't have to worry, Your Excellency. We're still not exactly sure how the situation stands in Crossbell, but I'm sure Machias is just fine. I concur. It'll take more than this to make him lose heart. Thank you both. I also put similar faith in my son. I'm sure he's doing everything he can on the inside to see justice prevail. As are Elisa and Tella. I think we all feel the same way. They ain't got none to worry about so long as they have Super Maid with them. And we're the whole crew, so if they, if they got things covered, then so do we. That's right. Now the question is, what happens from here? Thank you all for your time. I'm glad we could exchange information. 
It was a very worthwhile meeting. Well, we ought to make our way back to the palace. Be careful on your journey, everyone. I guess she isn't joining us. And I'm counting on you, Elise. Thank you, Your Highness. Good luck. I'm always available if you need to get in touch. Should we get going to them? Yes, let's. Note for Princess Alfin. Erebonian Princess. The crown jewel of Erebonia as its adored, adored, adored princess and student of St. Astrida's Girls' School. She has developed deep bonds with new and old Class 7. Her Highness was looking much brighter when she left than when she arrived. I'm pleased your lunch meeting was a positive one. Did you ever have the opportunity to come again? We would be delighted to serve you. I hope you enjoy our hotel's culinary delights. We serve some of the finest, freshest ingredients to ensure our guest dining experience is second to none. Our meals are dependent upon what ingredients we obtain, so do visit again so you can enjoy another unique meal. It was all delicious. I want to bring the rest of our own class next time. Much as I'd like that too, I don't know if my wallet will. We eagerly await your next day. How are these guys doing? I think that's the same thing. Yep. You would also be more than welcome to stay, should you like. We have the honor of being regarded as Erebonia's finest hotel, and we will spare no effort to show why that is. We should probably stay just to recover our CP. Get, it, get everybody to 100 so they can S-crap if we need to. Her manipulation's important. 100 mirror, well spent. Recovery successful. Oh, restore us to 200. Cool. I'll take it. Hmm? Something feels strange. Seeing to continue will cause the main story to advance. It will also not be possible to go any further in the main story for a brief period. You got a thing you got you got a uh, weird purple mirror in your pocket? Is something wrong? It's probably nothing. It's got a weird feeling. Something's in my pocket that wasn't there before. Yep. What is this? Huh. That's a weird looking mirror. It's when do you carry one of those around? Never since never. This isn't mine. It just ended up in my pocket somehow. Are you certain? I doubt anyone could slip something into your pocket without you noticing. Yeah, nothing gets by you, Reen. I don't have a clue how this got there. There has to be a reason behind it. But I can't imagine it connects in any way to the princess's appearance or what's happening in Crossbell. That's weird. What? What's happening? The conditions have been met. The road to where all may gather to where destiny avails itself, just at the horizon, is open. Come, and sink into an illusion that mirrors the real world, and extols its endless possibilities. Hmm. Weird place. This looks like, uh, whatchamacallit, from Trills in the Sky the Third. Castle of Phantasma, whatever. I can never remember the actual name of it. What just happened? What? Where are we? It's some sort of white garden. I've never seen anything like it. I'm getting a feeling there's more to this place than meets the eye, too. I mean, what kind of garden is surrounded by floating books? Yeah, not sure where we are, but it doesn't feel like the world we know. How did we even get here to begin with? That's a good question. Can't fathom how we came here either. In fact, I can't recall what I was doing before I ended up here at all. 
feel as though we were all together the moment before we arrived, but beyond that, we haven't the slightest clue what happened. Oh, this is just great. It's like something is blocking up my memories of before we got here. Actually, it's worse than that. It's not just my memories of right before. There's got to be a pretty good reason I was hanging around you guys, but it beats me. But beats me what it is. At least we're all on the same page about that. I feel fuzzy, too. I've been trying my best to recall what I was doing earlier today, but nothing, nothing's coming to mind. My best guess is we were working together for some reason, but I'm not sure why. Regardless of how we got here, it's safe to assume our memories affected our it's affected our memory somehow. This is an incredibly convenient plot device to make it so they can't exchange information. <laughs> if everyone's going to be meeting up here. Agreed. Spending around being confused isn't going to answer any of our questions. I think we should have a look around and see what we can find. So do I. If nothing else, we need to know whether this garden is safe. We may find clues as to how we arrived here as well. Sounds like we got a plan, then. Oh, and don't forget there are two floors to this place. Let's check them both out. Check out the surrounding area. Burple. Mirror's enormous. It looks remarkably similar to this one. You're right. It's as though the smaller mirror is a fragment of the larger one. That's not how you see this, but what I said does make a lot of sense. It's a, it's a, it's 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 a uh, weird MacGuffin to get everybody together, but not have them advance the plot. <laughs> At least, uh, not directly. I'm kind of think of it, I'm surprised I can remember you even having- who knows, maybe it'll come into- maybe, maybe it'll be important later in the game, and they'll come back here and actually have their memories. I'm kind of think of it, I'm, I'm surprised I can even remember you having that mirror. I do too, though I can't remember what it is or why Void has it. Actually, did you work something out? I wouldn't go that far, unfortunately. I just remembered something that's common in Eastern folklore. It's said mirrors with evil spirits in them can cause strange phenomena. It made me wonder if this mirror somehow has some kind of strange power in it. And if that's how we were all brought here. That's pretty spooky, but just as good as a guess as any at this point. This place is so weird that I wouldn't rule out anything as a possibility. Watery. Yep, I can feel something strange coming coming off it. But it's not doing anything for now, at least. Maybe it'll kick kick on or so something if we do something else around here. Are you saying it could have conditions? If that's the case, discerning those conditions could be our key of key to getting out of here. Let's continue to have a look around then. I'm taking this mirror has something to do with how we got here. Yeah, but I don't think we're going to learn anything more by inspecting it. We should look somewhere else. Yeah. Orb. A large sphere is floating in the air. What could this be? I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like it. The pattern on its surface kind of resembles the one on this place's walls. It being placed on a platform in the middle makes it seem important, too. It doesn't appear to be actively doing anything at the very least. Sigh. Yet another mystery to be solved. Let's just push it to the back of our minds for now and remember that it's here. Last year is floating in the air. Hell of a Saturday. Yeah. Quite, quite a bit's happening. Floating books. Huh. A strange barrier is blocking the way. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get through here. That's unfortunate. I'm curious to know where that elevator leads. It's not active right now either way. How can you tell? It's no use worrying about it right now. Maybe we'll figure out how to get past this thing later. Let's go the other way. Is there a notification blip on the stairs? No, I was just seeing things. Tree. Hmm. 
I know this is a garden, but part of me still isn't expecting to find a tree. Yes, let alone one as splendid as this. It seems out of place here. It looks like some kind of broadleaf tree. Never seen one with leaves, bark, or branches like this before, though. It's like something else entirely got reshaped into the form of a tree. That's an interesting perspective. Now I'm even more confused. Let's just agree there's something unusual about it. Though that doesn't make it any different from the garden as a whole. Can't rule out it being placed here for more than just decoration. Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me, I'm pretty sure it's glowing too. The more we explore, the more mysterious this place seems to be. I suppose all we can do is keep poking around and hope everything becomes clear. I'm not I'm not holding my breath. What's this? Old stone monument, huh? Now it's starting to come together. You figure something out? Yep, I'm 100% certain now that I don't have a clue what's going on. Three years later, and he hasn't changed a bit. I'm right back to square one. <laughs> a strange monument stands before you. It doesn't react to being touched. Got another little blip over there. It's a door to nowhere. Ah, uh, yes, it is a circle door. At least it doesn't- at least it's not Star Door 15, am I right? Is this some kind of door? Or, or that one that has the arena behind it. Yes, and it's unusually large. I wonder what it's doing here. It looks entirely out of place. You could say that about the books floating around, too. I've been thinking about those ever since we arrived. There's something about them that's very disturbing. No kidding. What's strangers, I can't make out any of the titles of the books no matter how hard I look, either. That's a mystery in itself. This place is very odd, but, uh... I'm sure we'll figure out what it is someday. Oh look, it's a rock. A stone pillar? Some kind of device? The mysteries continue to pile up. <coughs> There's one over there as well. That probably holds some significance. Let's go check it out. Check out the other pillar. I very clearly don't know what's going on. There's something pretty similar to the other, but something's different about it. It does seem that way. There must be some reason there are two of them. Yeah, it's safe to assume they're connected in some way. They're likely related to whatever the place's purpose is. If only you know whatever the heck that is. Hopefully, we'll figure something out if we keep looking around. Stone pillar. What is this? It's a globe of some kind on a pedestal. I can only assume this is meant to be used for something as well. Something important by the look of it. Watch. No reaction at all. Yeah, whatever this thing is, it's not on at the moment. It's like a relic or something, given the feel of this place. Hard to say for sure, though. Now that you mention it, this garden does resemble an ancient ruin of sorts. There's just one problem with that theory. Yeah, everything seems too new. There's not a speck of dust on this pedestal. Looks like it was made five minutes ago. Then why isn't it active? I can think of several possibilities, but they're all just conjecture. I guess I should keep looking around. Before we investigated the area further, but weren't able to find anything useful. It's so convenient that all the people here weren't a weren't around for Trails in the Sky the Third, huh? Eventually, they returned to the plaza where they first arrived to discuss their next move. I'm sure Joshua and Estelle would have something to say about this. And also, uh... Yeah. Well, yeah, there's just them. Maybe, I guess Ren, too. I think we've seen all there is to see around here. Unfortunately, I still don't have a clue what this place is. Likewise, everything we've inspected just left us with more questions. I just wish we stole our memories from before we get, came here. I imagine that would fill several gaps for us. Still, this, it isn't as though we haven't learned anything useful at all. For one, we know this place was created by someone or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Detective Rishia. True, it's definitely weird enough to not seem real, but I think it's safe to assume it has some kind of purpose. Beyond that, we know it resembles some kind of garden or ruin, so it's anyone's guess as to what it was intended to be. 
There's also all those devices we came across, but none of them are active. That leads us right back to square one. Let's agree that each detail is going, going to be useful information in trying to learn more. Above all, we need to learn why we're here. A new, a new story, story is in is motion. In motion. Your, Your fate, fate is but, but one, one thread, thread intermingled, intermingled with many. many. I'm assuming the voice is the now, Grandmaster, for whatever rise reason. From your slumber. Is that a memory? Are you alright, Lloyd? Something came to me just now. You guys remember hearing a voice just before coming here? A voice? I mean, now that you mention it, I do faintly remember hearing one. There was something strange about it. Yeah, I kind of remember it too, but it's still pretty fuzzy. I wonder... It mentioned being just one thread among many. Does that mean... The weird mix between divine voice and AI. It's, it's like that weird, like, uh, reverb that it's got. And also, just being said with lack of emotion. That sound, I remember hearing it before he came here. You gotta be kidding. What's up, guys? Ah. Where are we? What the heck's going on? Don't recognize this place at all. Wait, what are they doing here? Whoa. What just happened? Did we fall into some kind of teleportation spell? No, that wouldn't add up. Green, we're called here too? Void? Right, I feel like something or someone brought us here. But that's all I can remember. Strange. I can't remember what we were doing at all a few moments ago. Me neither. What's really weird is it doesn't feel like I was in any sort of panic. I feel like everything was normal. What the hell's going on here? Were we even together before this? I could have sworn we had all split up. I can't say for sure, but that's what my instincts are telling me as well. It sounds remarkably similar to what we went through. I'm guessing we essentially experienced the same thing. The only difference is they had split into two parties, but were still called at the same time. I think the most logical thing to do now is swap all the info we have. And they still know nothing. So you suddenly found yourself in possession of a strange mirror you'd never seen before and heard a voice. You were right. That's what happened to us, too. How we experienced the exact same thing so far apart? Your guess is as good as mine. Even us being unable to remember where we were before is the same. I would ordinarily refuse to believe such bizarre a bizarre sequence of events, but it's impossible to refute so much hard evidence. My top concern is understanding the why rather than the how. There must be a reason why we specifically were the ones brought here. I know what you mean. This is the last way I expect to see Lloyd and Ellie again. Yeah, I wasn't planning on a sun reunion, but it's good to see you again. I'm sorry it's not under better circumstances, but it's good to see you again, Yuna. Same here. Yuna continues to be a social butter butterfly even in the strangest of situations. Well, that just goes to show how genuine she is. That's certainly the real Yuna. Still, if not a single one of us remembers where we were, what we were doing before we were called here... Yeah, it's gotta be by design. Sending about this place blocks the recent memories of anyone who comes here. What other explanation can there be? But how can that be possible? Beats me, but let's face the facts, it's the only thing that makes sense. I agree, it's the only reasonable explanation. Regardless of how we got here, we have to accept that this place is very unusual. Easier said than done. No, he's right. Let's move past that and focus on the bigger picture. We must consider what we should do next. My first instinct is to search for an escape route so we can return back to wherever it was we were. But you all said you didn't have any luck during your investigation, yes? I'm afraid so. What? Hold up. What was that? The tree is now yellow. Now it's blue. Now it's light blue. I guess everything activated. Well, what do you know? It looks like Class 7 here may have been one of the conditions. Conditions? Oh yeah, we worked something out? Maybe, but I'm still only speculating. These mirrors were given 
we were given might just be fragments of the bigger of a bigger hole after all. Looks like there would be a third one. If that's the case. Well, I think I have a relatively good idea of the situation we're in now. I wonder who would get the third. Hmm. Though I wouldn't mind getting a look around here myself before we go any further. Let's see. Y yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see. Of course. But why? That is the that is the million mirror question. Might not help help work out who or what is responsible for all this, but I'd like to at least familiarize my, myself with our surroundings. Good thinking. You said stuff changed since you, since you first wandered around, right? That's an excellent point. Well, come with. I want to see what changed as well. Three. Check it out. The tree's glowing. And the bark looks weird. We thought the same, but it wasn't giving off light like this when you were here before. It feels different somehow. It's as though the trees spring with vitality now. It reminds me of something from a fairy tale. Oh, do tell. Spirit trees. They're said to have shining branches and leaves. They're filled with mana that can heal the body and mind. Or at least that's what I recall reading about. So this is the healing spot. Now that you mention it, you used to read those kinds of things all the time, didn't you? I suppose it does look something like that. Great, just what we need. More magical bullshit. But what if it does have the same properties as the tree Elise described? Then it would help us out a lot. It's worth giving it a shot. Healing. I was getting got weird goop flowing through the veins of the tree. I would say that was an accurate deduction. That's a relief. We still don't know what it is, but at least we know it can heal us. Never seen anything like it in nature. Neither have I, but at least we have somewhere to return if we're injured. Knock on wood, but yeah, you're right. And the stones. They have symbols on them now. This device is activated as well. It's a little foreboding. I can make out words glowing on it. The Millennial Trove. Commodities in exchange for currency. Huh. What's that supposed to mean? Sounds like it's a vending machine. I'm guessing it takes a mirror somehow. Just toss it at the rock and it'll spit out the the uh, mirror uh, the mir the item of that mirror's worth. That it would. Who knows how long we could be here? Being able to resupply would be a boon. All right, we found ourselves a shop. Millennium Trove, was it? I hope its stock lives up to its name. You're all having a much easier time accepting this as reality than I am. It does take some getting used to. Though, what about the device to the left? Does it serve a similar purpose? I would imagine so. It's the ornament thing. The Blazing Forge. Applied Septian Principles. The description is a little vague, but do you think it's possible for us to modify our ornaments here? That would be helpful, and yet... Yeah, this one is even more ominous looking than the other. Maybe because it confirms that there are dangers lying ahead of us. It's that sound again. I'm guessing you managed to satisfy another condition? I wonder what it could be. It's now brighter in here. Someone turned on the lights. Food process complete. Yep, it's very similar to... I, I can't remember. Let me let me Google this real quick. So I get the name right. Rails in the sky. Sky the third. I'm pretty sure it's Phantasmagoria, right? Uh, Phantasmagoria, castle built by Lord of Phantasma. Yeah, so it's Phantasmagoria. So it's very, very similar to that. Construction of the Reverie Garden administered space complete. Well, cool, there's the name. Beginning construction of the Reverie Corridor. Yeah, so, okay, so that voice was an AI similar to how, uh, what's, what's her name? 
in Trails in the Sky the Third was basically an AI. Well, well, looks like the party is finally getting started. That voice sounds familiar, too. Indeed, I believe we're about to learn the reason we're here. There's a lot of interesting phrases in what she said. Boot process, administer's space, the Reverie Garden. Yes, and most notably, Reverie Corridor. I'd be lying if I, if I said it didn't ring a bell. Let's make our way to the central plaza to get a better look at what's changed. Kind of title drop, yeah. Trails into the Reverie Corridor. Yeah, Sphere from earlier is active now. New temporal space forged. This world was constructed by the Black Mirror. Its function the is Black to present Mirror, like the Netflix show. <laughs> allowing you to cultivate the strength. <laughs> Never watched it though. Great distortions I heard the first few seasons were good and then it got garbage. Or at least worse. Maybe not garbage, but worse. Black Mirror? I'm more concerned with what it meant, means by trials. I'm guessing this thing governs the space we're in. Meaning, we are brought here to complete whatever these trials are. Correct. This process is an emergency measure intended to correct the laws of causality. What? Your understanding may be incomplete due to forced limitations placed on your memories. The current sequence of events with Crossbell at its center has originated due to an impossible singularity. Hmm. At this time, the chances of correcting this singularity are zero. It is for this reason that the Black Mirror has chosen to intervene. Uh, uh, causality again. Yep, causality again. Is this thing even speak in our language? That confirms that our memories truly were being tampered with. No wonder we couldn't understand what was happening. This loss is anyone else. With the sound of it, though, the Black Mirror is looking out for us. Yeah, and it mentioned something bad happening in Crossbell, too. A lot of what it said flew over my head, but if I understood the gist of it, it's saying that'll help us fight against whatever's happening in the real world. Now that you mention it, that's how I interpreted it as well. But how exactly is, is it going to achieve that? An excellent question, especially given that we're not permitted to remember everything that's happening on the outside. Strength gained here has been approved for use outside of the Reverie Corridor, even if new memories have been denied. That's convenient. So le you, basically you're saying you get your level ups. <laughs> Challenging the true Reverie Corridor to better your strength is required. So basically we're too Only weak to change it. Will the possibility to defy destiny be within your grasp? It sounds to me like there will be a bad ending if you complete the story without beating the true Reverie Corridor. That clears up some of our suspicions, but there are still some things unanswered. True, but we confirmed something important. This place exists to make us, to make us stronger. It's up to us to determine how much strength we gain and whether it'll be enough to change whatever fate has in store for us. That simplifies things if you ask me. Indeed, we're left with only one option. Rise to the challenge, both for ourselves and the homes we came from. And this is just just as much to do with us ju judging it by being named the, the True Reverie Corridor. Agreed. Yep. I couldn't shake the feeling that this place is slightly familiar to me. Still, we don't know what the true part signifies just yet. Oh yeah, Reen said the name ring a bell. Sure does. Brings back a lot of memories. Sounds like this version is here to pump us up and get us ripped. Like our own secret training ground. Could prove rather useful. We all have people and things we want to protect on the outside. Yes, and we each know the kind of strength it takes to overcome the impossible. So let's work together and gain the strength we need. It is for that reason I and the Reverie Garden exist. Access to the first stratum has been granted. Cool. May you seize the ability to overcome the impossible over the course of your trials. Talk about hospitality. The way is finally open for us. Let's take this opportunity. Right. You may now challenge to every corridor's first stratum via the central elevator. Selected for party members you wish to take with you. Lloyd and Reen are required for your initial exploration of the first stratum. We can only bring five people. 
Neat. Well, anyway. Now we have to figure out who our fifth party member is. Because <laughs> we gotta, gotta take acceleration, and we gotta take reflection. Um... We run into another issue. I feel like Milliam is probably the best choice for our final party member. Because a 90% damage reduction is busted. We just have to make sure we properly uh, diversify our kit. All the damage reduction garbage is very important. Access your party formations for the main story inside the Raven Corridor with this menu. Swap parties with LT. Items mirror and separate belonging to Reen and Lloyd's parties have been consolidated. The contents of the notebooks have also been unified. From now on, any items or notebook data acquired by Reen or Lloyd will be accessible to the other party as well. Cool. Looks like everyone's taking the chance to get more familiar with this place. I should probably check to make sure we have everything we need before we begin challenging the Reverie Corridor. Never thought I'd hear that name again, but here we are. Then again, this place seems a lot different than before. Are they really one and the same? Either way, it's pointless to worry about that right now. I need to focus on what's right in front of me and what I can control. We will now begin exploring the Reverie Garden as Reen. Okay, so basically what this seems like to me, in terms of the story at least, with the true Reverie Corridor, it's that, uh... The original Reverie Corridor probably had the same exact purpose of of uh, serving as at the as like Reen's Awakener trial, right? Which also probably had something to do with the whole causality garbage, making Reen and the party stronger by training in it. They just coincidentally followed the right path. Initializing trading process. Let's see. Purchase and trade items will those peruse a selection of rare goods. Uh, filter out which character items are displayed. Okay, I see how this works. We got weapon upgrades too. So. Now we need money. Yeah, our, our very little mirror and everything is just gone. And <laughs> Lloyd's towel. Hey, we can get bells. Not super useful, but it's cool to have. Chorios. Altina's main campus cap. Action knight set. A costume designed after Valimar. What? <laughs> that looks so stupid. Blazing Forge activated. Along with the usual orb factory functions, you can also deconstruct weapons and armor. Okay. I mean, it's only new material, but I guess it gives purpose to the old uh, equipment. Customize quartz. I like the music here. Pretty chill. Although I do like piano, like piano music. Whoa. 
Oh, I didn't have to waste the money because you could just upgrade your weapons all the way through. Okay. Why does she have two of the same weapon? Hmm. Equipped two. What? Who's also using a, uh, using that? We, it's impossible to have two equipped. What? We only have one, yet it says we have two equipped. What the hell is going on? Is it UI breaking or something? Does the, game, does the game not know what's going on? I completely believe that. has the best stuff on. Oh yeah, she still has her confuser on. I kinda like I kinda like that. Although I wonder if it confused stacks with the uh with the crafts. Huh. Who's dark? Pillion on. She does. Okay. So I guess I specify that, uh, some of them can just use whatever rapiers they want. And then you have multiple people that use guns. That's Claire also exists. They aren't in the party, so we'll leave that stuff there. Is there any cheap upgrades we can get? Alright. Earth, water, wind, fire, I guess, is the ones you can actually make. I'm sure we'll end up getting a lot more mirror once you go through everything. So, what is going on here? This came from Crossbell told me that this pedestal has been inactive. There's something odd about it. I get something like a warm feeling from just looking at it. I've been wondering if the equipment in front of it serves some kind of greater function. So I think it's best if we leave it alone for now. Sure. So while I have you here, I wanted to say that I intend to provide you support in the corridor. You may not remember exactly what's happening in the real world, but that shouldn't prevent me from fighting by your side. Thanks, Elise. Appreciate it. This place seems to be designed to affect what's happening in the real world, even if we're not allowed to hold on to our memories. How fascinating. What next? You become such a reliable friend, Elise. 
Is this what love does does to a woman? Adios forbid I get left behind. And you say, you never change, do you? Looks like that was supposed to be dialogue that I was supposed to play. But we missed it. I have to do something. Oh, they, they talk when you talk to them. Like, voice. Who knows what sort of place this this will turn out to be. Whatever gets thrown at us, I'll be there to help help deal with it. So please, if you need anything, anything at all, Reen, don't be afraid to ask, okay? That's what siblings are for. Right, thanks, Elise. It's always good to know I can count on you. I have to do something. Yeah. <laughs> you need little old me. Hmm. Trial, huh? You mean what the voice said earlier? Yeah, apparently it's a trial to prepare us to overcome whatever it is that's happening in Crossbell. The fact I can't remember what it is or even question it makes me uneasy. Hmm, uh... Fine then, I've got enough thinking for one day. If this is all about helping Crossbell, then we just have to do it. He's right. It doesn't matter whether our memories are being restricted or not. Now's the time to put our strengths together and get through this. Well, sometimes simple is best. Maybe don't mind us leaning on class of strength again, Reen. Not at all. We'll need yours too. Did you need something? I don't know what's happening in Crossbow, but that doesn't change what must be done. Let's give it our all and work together to, to the best of our ability, just like during the twilight. Um, just a minute. Do they have... Um, just a minute. Did you need something? They have like two dialogues. How's apparently. it going? I'm impressed how folks you are under these conditions, Yuna. It's always important to take time to slow down and consider everything in front of you as a detective. Can you be saying that to her? I'll be take that as a compliment, too. That's something we talk about in Class 7. Jeez, I feel like I'm back at school now hearing you two give me pointers. How's it going? Well, let's make sure we're ready to before we challenge the trial. I'm counting on you, Reen. What's wrong? You, uh, got a sec? I'm pretty worried about what might be happening in Crossbell. Bill, it's a relief to have Lloyd and Ellie in our corner. I'm feeling pretty fired up to show what I can do, too. You, uh, got a sec? Hey there! Door still locked. Odd group. Hello out there! There's barely any echo here, either. This place is so bizarre. I thought I had a hand on this place's size, but it continues to baffle me. I haven't dragged to some crazy places over the last year, but this one's toward the top. Sounds like you old timers have experienced something like this before, though, yeah? We did. Though we went through a version of the Reverie Corridor when we were students, but it was different from this. The circumstances around us entering were also completely different. I don't have a clue why we were brought here this time. I'd love to hear Gaius and Emma's opinions, but they haven't been sucked into all this. Yet anyway... It could be that there are some sort of conditions that let us be here. Either way, let us focus on making as much progress as we can with who we have now. Be ready, you two. Seriously, like you need to tell me that. Hear me out. I don't know who the hell thought it was a good idea to lock us all up in here and put us through this, these trials to test us. But I like their style. Makes it feel alive and starting to have fun again. Hear me out. This is happening to them just before events of their side scare. That means there's a chance they wouldn't survive what's coming. Yeah, they, that that's what I'm getting to. That's why I'm that's why I'm thinking there's likely a bad ending if we actually don't complete the entirety of the Reverie Corridor by game's end. Similar to how that one side quest popped up in Cold Steel 4 to give a bad end to give a bad ending if you didn't get it. Although technically you had to beat the game first to get the uh, true ending. So I'm thinking maybe it's the same here. Where there's a final corridor that you could only get after you beat the story and there's a bad ending. That's my guess. Although more than likely, in terms of video game, you could probably make it through as long as uh as long as they don't force you to come here after this point in the story, which they might force you, and then there's no real uh whole thing for it. Or there or I'm let's see, I'm trying to put my words together from what's in my mind. And that's not always easy. I feel like... Like, outside of this very first section, 
if they don't force you to come here repeatedly, which considering it's like the first stratum, quote, there's probably going to be certain times where they're going to force everybody to come back here to complete the second and third and so on if there's more. But if they, if they don't force you to do it, I feel like gameplay-wise you should be able to get through the game, especially if you're on an easier difficulty. But on uh, Abyss, it's definitely going to help to be able to grind everybody up a bit more, right? Let's see. Hear me out. Give me new dialogue. What do you want? There. Being this trap, Lord and them is going to succeed, and reading the other one count for something from Heimdall that's going to get them killed. Yeah, pretty How's much. It going? I didn't sense any ill will coming from that voice we heard earlier. I can't get past this place being named the Referee Corridor. We should get to the bottom of what this is all about. Uh, you got a sec? Uh, you got a sec? The real question is, who exactly turned this on? Although considering the whole, uh, Grandmaster with Thread's, Thread's image, which is literally the game's, uh, title screen, it probably has something to do with her. Fish! You don't have any bait. Like, it's entirely possible that some weird shit happened and the Grandmaster is just manipulating everything from from behind the scenes to make it so uh, they can solve whatever problem is happening here. Which means whatever is happening is especially bad. Fish swimming around. If that is the case. Look, like there's a bunch of fish in this pond. No kidding. Well, at least we know we, we, there's something to live off for a few days then. You say that, but you don't seem at all phased by what's happening. We really don't know whether we'll be able to leave yet. Eh, what's the point in freaking out over things you can't control? Exactly, Mundo. We just gotta be ready for anything like always. And what's... And what's there to worry about with me and Lammy on the case? You got me there. Yo, all good? Maybe I'll get some fishing and beer for a change. It's been too long. You should also kick back a little while while we're here. Pick a load off. Cutting this tree makes me feel like I just woke up from the world's best nap. Got energy for days now. Maybe that's why all the all the fishes swimming around look so juicy. I wonder if the tree's giving them energy too. Hi, hi, hi. Hmm. So like. What is that icon on the map? Oh, it's it's a very pixelated tree. It's a very uh very low res. Although I guess it doesn't need to be high res, right? Lipsies. Am I missing the matter? No, it's just... I still can't believe the person before me is a legendary yin. Even seeing you in this eastern attire, it's hard to imagine you as a legendary, uh... Changsho. Let's just say it's because yin can take many different forms. I've heard about you from Sully and the SSS. It'll be an honor to fight alongside you. I feel like that should be my line. Hopefully I can learn a thing or two. Um, is something the matter? I don't know how useful my skills can be to someone with the reputation of doing things by the book. But it's good to be comrades this time, Ashen Chevalier. Excuse me, Reen Schwarzer. I hope you're doing well. What is it? I've heard much about Yin, the legendary Zhang Shao. It's a shock to hear the young woman before us is one and the same. I'd be remiss not to learn as much as I can from her while I have the opportunity. What is it? What is it? What is it? Give me your second line. What is it? Do you only have a single line of dialogue? So then... Nope. There we go. It, it, we just had to coax him into saying it. I don't believe there's anybody else here. Down the elevator. Core hey boss. Activated. Additional information concerning advocated conduct is available. Fears are advised to conduct themselves in such a manner that better allows the Reverie Corridor to fulfill its intended purpose. A series of criteria have been devised to effectively administer this process with the remuneration provided for successfully completing, completing said criteria. I'm not having any easier to, of a time understanding these explanations. I suppose the short of it is that I'll be judged based on a set of criteria and rewarding us for meeting that criteria? In that case, I guess we'll just have to do just have to do what we can to live up to expectations. 
About Reverie Points and Liberation Rank. You will be rewarded for certain decisions and actions made during the main story with RP or Reverie Points. I was correct. RP is Reverie Points, not Roleplay. Your rank will increase after earning a certain amount of RP. You will be able to claim a valuable reward from the Central Core each time your rank increases. RP and Ranks. By making good decisions, acting appropriately, and completing requests, you will gain RP. Rank Points. What? I, I, I guess the uh, tutorial is incorrect. <laughs> cool. Somebody should go back there and change RP to Reverie Points, right? Rank G. Upon queuing up RP and reporting requests, your, your rank will increase. There are 10 ranks ranging from G to SSS. And each time your rank increases, you receive rewards from the Central Core. Report RP. Confirming rank points accumulated. Liberation rank unchanged. Okie dokie. The sphere is no longer responding. The way it spoke made it sound like it had a sense of self. I was thinking the same. I could sense there was some sort of will behind it. Something about it was familiar. And my mistake in it did say Reverie Corridor. This may be a trial, but its danger is unmistakable. I hope to Adios Milium has the sense to not simply charge forward. Agreed. This is the sort of situation that would lead her to leaping before thinking. You'll have to work together to rein her in. Naturally. Listen to us. What enviable roles we've signed up for, haven't we? I couldn't agree more. <laughs> you've, been quite, you've become quite the caring sister, Altina. <laughs> and you don't sound very bothered by it, Yusus. It's your imagination. You're imagining it. How are you? Not that it would do me a lot of good. It seems a lot of my, it seems to be my lot in life to be stuck with her, whether I like it or not. At any rate, rest assured, I'll do my best to keep her in her impulsiveness in check. How are you? Yes. Is something the matter? What do you need? This place is shrouded in mysteries, and it's not only the trials. Being called the Reverie Corridor is especially curious. If the history repeats itself, then I'm sure we'll need to be ready for whatever comes. What do you need? <laughs> Indeed. Altina has has grown up, hasn't she? Having watched over Million from the very beginning, it does my heart good to see it. And if someone like her can grow, then there's no excuse why I can't. <laughs> Indeed. You seem to be doing well. Well then, let's double check what we got in our current party. For one, everybody needs to have Chrono Burst. That is, uh, that is required. Ascension R. You know that chrono burst. Could throw Dragon Vein on you. Use is pretty good. Be nice if we could upgrade it, but probably can't. And for now, I guess we'll throw a. Uh, Lido on everybody so we get more Sepith. If they don't already have it on. We can just fix that later. Also, probably give her something other than Dunamis. 
Tax and Crafts heal EP is not that great. Probably still on Scorpio for that whole thing. But I'm thinking we might do better with a different one. Probably Murakumo. The random status effects. up against, but I guess I'll throw that on. Okay. Let's see. First stratum of Reverie Corridor. This is the Reverie Corridor? Doesn't seem to have any rhyme or reason to the way it's expanding. You guys are acting like as if it's nothing new. Well, that's because it isn't. A place like this manifested beneath the Thor's main campus old schoolhouse a couple years ago. That was also called the Reverie Corridor. Though something seems different about this one. Doesn't look like this will be anything like our first rodeo. Hmm. What about strange places like this from Estelle? Phantasma, she called it. Somebody said something. Thank God. This isn't quite like it, though. Should probably assume they're unrelated. Agreed. Similarities are there, but we may as well treat this place like it's someplace brand new. I know we're only on the first floor, but everything begins with the first step, so let's get moving. The Reverie Corridor is a unique place. A number of special AT bonuses that demand caution are present in battle. Be wary of letting the enemy get them. Status, death blow, vanish, CP up 200, and CP loss. Yeah, we definitely don't want the enemy no getting CP loss. But those belong to us. Travel menu updated. Oh. Fixed. Ceiling stones. Hmm. Alright, rest spot. What's with the, what's with like the, the PC ninety eight uh, instruments? That's neat. Is it? At least I'm pretty sure it's PC ninety eight. It sounds very similar to like old Falcom music. Sure, it's by design. Cubile. Yeah. I dig this though. Let's see a peculiar floating cube that was constructed to be an automated defense unit. It launches attacks from its core. Hammer Troll. A small monster that enjoys mischief. Its toy-like hammer hurts a lot more than you would think, especially if caught by surprise. Let's go. Listen, even crystal. Let's go. Kane, 
It even has a guitar solo in it. I shall go. This song is everything you can want. Did he really just explode? I feel like they saved, like, their best battle music specifically for their every corridor. Wait a minute, don't we have- isn't there a thing? Like, Dragon Bane? Is that it? Yeah. Our Assault Gauge recovers naturally while on the field. Egg? Ready. Ahoy, mateys! There be treasure here! Energy Vendetta prevents sleep. Oh, this is an interest that's an interesting enemy. Can we set up a four chained battle here? Only engage that one if necessary. Now we just got three. All for one. It's my turn. Keep strong. Tough this shield. Let's go. Dark Knight and Silver Fang. <laughs> Love AT delay. <laughs> Lloyd's here, everything is going to be fine. There. Silver Fang, a magnificent, ferocious silver wolf that protects the forest. It rips through any intruder who dares cross the sacred land. Right. This is Lloyd's theme. I think the I think it's like I think it's like the boss monster theme. Cause I think the Dark Knight might be considered a boss monster. There. Or a mini boss monster. Dark Knight, a knight's bloodlust made manifest. It wanders forever, hungry for battle while leaving many a corpse in its wake. Let's go! It's my turn! Roar! Healing down! There! Four. My turn. Rihanna, fire! Attack! And opening! Ouch. Okay. Right. It's my turn. Right. Listen. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I'll support you. <laughs> Thanks. It's my turn. I'm up. Listen. It's my turn! It's my turn! Marcus, activate! I shall go. Rihanna, fire! Now! An opening! It's my turn! Ha! Now! There! Still got up and crystal up. Love it. 
about to wear off, though. battery is the best strat. Every battle shows me why you're such an indomitable force, detective. A little bit of stubborn can go a long way. Stats updated. Ultimate Barrier EX. Immunity to two attacks. That's actually nice that's actually pretty good. I like that. Silver Ceiling Stone. Yeah, I think I think I was supposed to be a boss monster then. Got the advantage. <laughs> a little bit of stubborn, yeah. A little bit more than just a little bit. Charging. Yeah. Let's go. Down. Now. There. I won't let you. Plus confusion. something over there that I missed. Can't have that. Needle shoot. I'll keep it somewhere safe. I was kind of hoping I could could uh, use the, use someone else outside of the party to restore health, but I guess not. It's worth a shot. What's this? Okay. Treasure chest found. Collecting content. Awakening headband. We ha do we have two of those now? Yeah, this 
that, that, that's quite familiar. Except we don't need a whole cutscene to show us that it switched now. Come a long way. Let's do this. Didn't mean to do that. Shit. Well, rising sun. We'll be fine for a bit. I shall go. Soul Blame. Let's see. A beast that feeds on orbital energy. The potent acid it spews can burn straight through flesh and armor alike. Okay. Vulnerable to vanish. I don't know if you have a director craft. She does. But I often forget it because I'm an idiot. Forgetting it because I'm an idiot isn't a joke. I do completely forget that it's, that it exists way too frequently. me now that those in normal staff can also do it. Yeah, I know. Elliot has one as well. Let's go. And I think uh, Emma does, so I guess that does pretty much cover everyone, doesn't it? My turn. It's my turn. Oh, look at that. They, they, got, they got death blow coming up. That That's fun. How about no? What about Tio? Yeah, Tio does have it. All right, nice work, Tio. I, I I did a blanket statement. I said yeah, that it covers a lot, like almost everybody. <laughs> everyone with a normal staff. I can only remember so many minute details. Let's go. I really want that BP meter increase. I want it so badly. Let's go. They're open. Got him. Engaging. Again. <laughs> Rising sun spam. Okay. 
You take a Tilly and a Millie, a Lammy and a Sammy, and you got all you need to go whammy, whammy, whammy. I suppose we are a suitable enough duo to have earned a theme song. Anything over here? Nope. Looks like we fully discovered this floor. Fairy Tale Chronicles Volume 1. Right, let's go up. Nothing particularly troublesome so far. Why would you look back? Sadly, all the other people are going to not level up as quickly. Orb? Okay. The path is now open. Ready. Wonder who would put that chest there. Huh. You're giving us a lot of these. Powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Pretty sure I remember this creature. Mega Kraken. Whack. It's my turn. Scale! Come now! There! Right. Okay, let me try to remember to use protection when Altina's turn comes up. Listen. It's my turn. They're open! Got it! Engaging. All right. Protector Delta. Scan complete. Mega Kraken, a creature in existence since the times of myth and legend. He uses magic of the abyss to petrify foes, rendering them to ether. This is fine. He blinded himself. It's my turn. It's my turn. Make sure we get it. Burning heart to make sure we have the BP. Right. Oh, the heaven crystal. Let's go. Use, I guess. It's my turn. Let's go. 
Let's go. Oh, this is good. Stuff's gonna go wrong in a second. Well, I'm up. we can go for RNG. Roar. Come on. Nice, you got it. It's my turn. Listen. It's my turn. Great, uh, random number, down. Jesus. Yeah. There we are. Nice work, team. Get another silver ceiling orb. I'm gonna guess that the orbs are like a progress thing. But I'm wondering why what the uh, gold, blue, and red ones are, because so far we've gotten ones that aren't those colors. change up the link so we can see the other dialogues. Also, Claire has not had a chance to shine yet. I'll keep it somewhere safe. Stuck in the reserves. It's a palm, but not just any palm. It's a shining palm. Stop running. Here's our shot. Turquoise palm. A dastardly fluff that hides behind strong companions, bringing joy and goodies to those who catch it. Seems decently tough. Is this all damage? It's an Azure Droplet and Azure Divine Water as their uh, stuff. Let's go! It's my turn! It's 
eternally. Right. Fierce as fire. Blazing sword. It's my turn. It ends here. Yeah. <laughs> All taken care of. Not even gonna let it let it get away. Not even a chance. Let's see. Asher Divine Water. What does it do? Droplets. Asher Divine Water, EXP 2500. Current level limit 107. Oh, so that's what those are. Yeah. Forgot about those. I guess that's that's how we keep people uh close to level, I guess. We slap the Absurd amount of EXP things on them. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I bet there's some nice treasure in there. Rabbit boots. Vermilion only. Throwing boots that have an up that are up optimal wear thanks to having a zipper. There you go. All yours. Also, rabbit boots plus one. Those are upgraded, are upgradable. What's that thing? Super shiny. Something is up with that monster. Whatever it is, it's a strong one. You best not let her guard down for a moment. A special monster will sometimes appear in the Reverie Corridor. Let's see, a special sparkling notice will appear to alert you when one is near. Gold, blue, and red ceiling stones are limited per floor. Only silver stones will be rewarded once the former three have been collected. There's at least one guardian beast on each floor. Be, be sure you're ready before taking them on. Shiny. Oh, we can't get advantage on the turn. This one's strong. Be careful. <laughs> I won't let you! Let's go! Alright. Right! Listen! Even Crystal! Let's go! Daddy Gaga. There! An exoid, an, ex an exectoid of an unusually rare variety. It loves to hit humans with its fuzzy body, causing a terrible rash as it sprinkles its tiny scales. Reflected. Get confused. Get blinded. My turn. Gunai, Gunai Gaga. Search mode active. Details procured. An insectoid of an unusually rare variety, it sprinkles tiny skills into the eyes of unwary prey, luring them into the land of dreams. And death. Go in. Well, mostly death. Fighting amongst each other. Oh god, what is happening with those wings? Oh, I see. When they cast spells, it's they start freaking the fuck out. It's my turn. It's my turn. Listen. Let's go. Breaker. Engaging. That is an interesting set of turns up ahead. I 
shall go. as well. I'm not sure if we've seen this one, so let's look at it. Guardian Beast. We got a blue one. Ah, oh, that hits the spot. That was interesting. Gotta go back. Gambler Jack 2. Complete edition. Nice. I'll hold on. Oh, the full book. I'm not sure if we read Gambler Jack. I'm pretty sure we did it. But nothing's fuzzy on it. with the math equations flowing around her head. Which technically is from, uh, I think, The Hangover. Or one of them. One of The Hangovers. Sam, let's get him. We don't have enough BP for uh, spam here. Uh, we'll just have to go we'll have to tough it out. Toughness shield. It's my turn. All for one. Oh, that, oh, that's why Reen got the first turn, because he was confused. That makes sense. I'll save you. Green's going next, so let's give him the sedative. Thanks. I'm up. Yeah. <laughs> My turn. Got the CP for this right. now. Burning Heart Let's spam. Go. Let's go. It's my turn. Let's go. Right. Listen. Let's go. They had to have known this would happen. Let's go. Huh? My turn. I think she has Leave an MP. Nah, no, it just has a small KO percent chance. Uh... I hope everyone is alright 
after that. Yeah, there's our sparkly monster. Need to get our uh, salt meter to charge, though. Red Moon Rose, complete edition. Safe. Yeah, it looks like they're giving us all the books. <laughs> Treasure chest found. Collecting Proxy contents. Puppet Plus. Breaks after one use, but it's a full, uh... It's a full HP restore that also gives 10% evasion. Cool. We're good to keep moving. It's tough. We'll need to be careful. We have the advantage. I leave it to you. Leave it to me! My turn. It's my turn. Nice. Right. Marble doll. There. A product of ancient alchemy that pursues targets with great tenacity. It relies on brute strength to overpower them. I shall go. Thanks. Thanks. I'm up. Listen. It's my turn. I'll be taking that break turn, thank you. I'll support Thanks. You. Right. Right. It's my turn. Let's go. Keep. Let's go. That book are open! Got the first turn. Listen. Love it. Scale! Huh? I won't let you. It's my turn. Save that. Whatever. Good thing I can do something about that. Unless Reen dies. Sorry, everyone. It's my turn. I'll take it. 
40% chance of this working. It worked. <laughs> There's no stopping us. Bring it back up. Welcome back to the land of the living, Lloyd. Or, or sorry, Reen. I, I got I got a little uh, alliterative there. Saintly force. Beginning suppression. Dang it. Is top tier. It's my turn. Let's go. <laughs> All taken care of. I think I get the idea for these two. He's just here for the hell of it. It's not actually a double encounter. Right. Right. Keep strong. It's my turn. I shall go. RNG. They cannot be vanished. I'll save you. Thanks. It's my turn. Listen. I'm up. Okay. Retreat. Let's go. It's my turn. Let's go. Hmm. BP five turn. I'll take that. Engaging. Right. 
I was kind of hoping I would get that. That's a shame. Let's go. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. Engaging. Turn. Ooh, this is a good start. Well, you can do it. Let's go. Yeah, we got this. I'll show you spirit unification after it's my turn. Million. Giga Tiamat. Not a five-headed dragon. A possible god by some believed to have existed since the world's initial creation. Its ancient horrors shattered the minds of beholders. There are beholders in this game too. My turn. Mostly vulnerable to space. <laughs> Charging. I won't let you! Twenty percent chance for that death blow, and ten percent chance for uh, petrify. That's always fun. A cavalry edge doesn't kill instantly; it just is. It's only HP absorb. Okay. Yeah. I won't let you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Roar! Look your legs down! An opening! Go in! Planning! Engaging! So we're gonna have a turn where we're gonna have, just have to tank it. Keep strong. Toughness shield. I'm up. Roar. Look here, like now. An opening. It's my nice. Turn. Warded. It's my turn. Yeah. It's my turn. Tactile. 
Hand damage isn't too bad when we have 90% damage reduction. Soften you up. Thanks. Let's go. Probably Evan Crystal while he's doing his uh his thing here. It's my turn. HP. Let's go. Burn back through that. My turn. Nice. Yeah. It's my turn. No, 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 we got this. Yeah. Let's go. Ha. Let's go. Listen. I'm up. Roar. Oh. Here, like, die. Fly okay. through, like, behind my glasses. Seriously. This is supposed to work. This cup with honey with saran wrap over it. It worked before, back at uh, my old place. You had a fly problem, and that took care of it. Caught all the fruit flies and uh, dumped it all. you to die. Guardian Beast. 
gold ceiling stone. Now let's check the, the map. Yeah. Fixed. I have no idea what that means by fixed, but okay. We have the advantage. Let's go. Let's go. Right. It's my turn. Let's go. Ah, they're open. I'll assist. It's over. Okay. Get ready. Good work, everyone. Silly rabbit idealism is for kids. <laughs> Fine idealism. Chronos leather. Jet black leather boots that withstand even the fastest of sword swings. This will come in handy. Boots for Reen. Get some five percent of Asian. Cool. I think that's it for this floor. Going up. It is 108 in the morning. Looks like and a good place to rest up. Yeah, that seems like boss to me. Travel menu updated. Yeah, perfect time to call it a night. We have no idea what the hell's gonna be showing up here. All right. So next time, I guess we'll finish the first stratum of the Reverie Corridor. Till then. Night.